All right, we're here with Coach Harper, Rakia Jackson, and Jordan Horston. We'll start off with a quick opening statement from Coach before we take questions for the student athletes. Coach? Yeah, obviously we're really excited. Um, so proud of our team, and it's a big win because uh, that's a very good basketball team, obviously, with a lot of uh, weapons and um, you know physical. And, but I'm just just proud of our team for not giving up, uh, continuing to fight, um, battle, chip away at a big lead, and obviously take the lead and kept it. So just really proud of proud of this group. If you have a question for the student athletes, raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. If you please, we'll state your name and affiliation. We'll start off here in the second row in the middle. Hi, Emily Adams, USA Today Network. Um, for either of y'all, I mean, you guys really went through a slog in your, your non-conference schedule. You finally get the ranked win today. Just what does that feel like right now? And does it mean more to have it be over LSU, who you've kind of had that little rivalry with this year? Um, it felt great, you know, getting a ranked win. Like, of course, any team will want to get a ranked win. But um, us just overcoming so much adversity early on in the season, our strength of schedule. So um, that's just been our motive all year, just overcoming adversity and things like that. So I'm just so proud of this team. And, you know, we was bending, but we didn't break. So that's what when it mattered. We'll go to the front row right here in the middle. For both of y'all, uh, oh, Gabrielle Lewis, the next. Um, for both of y'all, it seemed like there were moments where you just went into a new gear, were able to really, you know, pump up the energy. Can you talk a little bit about those moments and um, your mindset throughout this whole game to be able to to get this win? Um, yes, it's tournament time, so you got to turn it into another gear. Um, we didn't want to go home. Um, I knew everybody on that bench and in the game was locked in. Um, this is a different type, different type of discipline that we had to have going towards the end of the game and just fight and toughness, like just figuring out how to get a stop, figuring out how to get an old board even when they boxing you out. It's just about the little things, just mastering the little things. And I felt like we did that well. Um, Jillian came in, she played great minutes for us. Um, and I'm just proud of everybody, so. Front row. To follow up on that, can you guys talk about Jillian? I mean, she had a great night tonight. Um, you know, she has such incredible footwork in the paint. Um, what has she meant tonight, but then just this whole season to this team? Yeah, big shout out to Jillian, man. I'm so proud of her. She's so young, but she works so hard. She comes in every day. She's do what is asked with of her with a great attitude. So we just knew that this was in her. You know, she was definitely our X factor tonight. She's so versatile. She can do a little bit of everything. So, so proud of her. Her toughness, you know, she's so young playing at this high level against a ranked team like that. You know, that's nothing that you just come across. So, yeah, big shout out to her. I called it though. I called it in the beginning of the season. I yeah. said, Y'all need to watch out for Jillian. Yeah. She a dog. She did. Um, she just had to settle in and, you know, get her feet wet. Yeah. That's exactly what she she's doing. We'll go over to the right side on the front row. Pete Yakapelli with the Associated Press. Jordan, I imagine there's so much of a legacy to live up to uh for Tennessee women's basketball. What does it mean to be back in the SEC oh, tournament goodness. finals? <laughs> Uh, it feels so good. It feels so good. But the job is not done yet. Um, you know, we still got one more game. I'm so thankful that we made it. You know, it's my first year making it to past this day. Every year, I, this is when I went home. So I'm glad that we made it to see another day. But, you know, the job is not done. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll go to the back row. Uh, Jeremiah Holloway with the state. Obviously, we saw, you know, after the game, kind of the emotions that you guys, you know, had on the court, you know, celebrating the win. Uh, of course, you guys haven't looked at South Carolina yet, but, you know, with the, uh, I guess, kind of the emotions and momentum, how you guys uh, find a way to carry that, I guess, into tomorrow and uh, for that championship game? Um, just coming out hot. Um, we know that, you know, we can't get down. You know, South, we know how South Carolina plays. We just played them pretty recent. So um, that's an advantage for us. We know that we can't get down on ourselves. We can't get down. We can't get in our heads. We got to be next play mentality. Um, and then we got to crash, rebound, do all the little things to, you know, give us a fight. Second row. Jordan, it was kind of a tale of two halves for you tonight. Just what did you feel like was the switch that flipped after halftime to really make those numbers go up so much? <laughs> um, Kia staying on me. She was like, I need you. Oh, I need man. you, Jordy. So, you know, I just, I don't like letting people down. I'm always like, okay, let me let me not be selfish. Let me get on myself. Um, let me figure out how I can provide and do something productive for this team because I really want to win. Everybody knows that I want to win. But I got to give a shout-out to my teammates because they pulled me out of that for, for real. 
Any last questions for the student athletes? All right, thank you, ladies. Thank you all. If you have a question for Coach Harper, raise your hand, we'll get a mic to you, and please state your name and affiliation. We'll start off here on the right side, front row. Kelly Pete at, uh, the with the Associated Press. How did you keep them focused and on, on this possibility when things were just not going well for them in the first two quarters? Yeah, you know that's that's always the qu question I get when you have those um, when you have those big changes, those shifts. Um, the second timeout I had to call in the in the first half was basically um, I didn't yell. It was let's talk about where we're at right now and um, really ask them to dig deep and and what they wanted. Um, Halftime was not a rah rah. It was not a um, a yell at. Your speech. It was basically, okay. Here's what we're going to have to do to get back in. We've got to be tough. I, I thought I did not think we were as tough as we needed to be in the first half. Obviously, the turnovers were um, really hurting us. So we had 13 in the first half. We talked about we we reviewed again why we were making those turnovers and how we could not make those turnovers. Um, we, and we just had better focus. Um, Obviously, we were able to score with, uh, with Rakia, Jordan, and then Jillian pretty consistently there. And, you know, you just get a little momentum. Um, the other thing that I thought our team did, I didn't think we got too high when we were making a run. I, you know, we took the lead, and we stayed pretty even the, the whole, whole game. And I think that was good because, you know, when you're playing off your emotions, that's high and low and high and low. And we were pretty consistent. And I, that's really been that, the team this year, to be honest with you. They've not been too high or too low. They just come back and, all right, what's next? Um, so I obviously am extremely proud of them. Second row. Kelly, I know the girls talked a little bit about Jillian, but I mean, for a player who's as young and as sort of inexperienced as she is, what does it say about her to show up the way that she did tonight? Well, she's really talented. And um, I thought the second half, we, we kept her in there. We were able to get her in longer and she was able to stay in because I thought defensively she was better in the second half. And, you know, she she's a go-to player. She really is. We can get the ball to her and she can um, uh, make shots. Obviously got some rebounds and, and she's got a lot of moves. Um, she was she was a really big part of uh, that second half run. First row. I think I asked you this yesterday, but today it's got a whole new light. Um, you know, after such a tough non-conference schedule, you know, well, how has that prepared you for a fourth quarter like this, but just, you know, a game like that in general? Yeah, we, we've played so many tough games this year. We've, we've been in, in a lot of... Um, uh, close games down the stretch, had to fight. Um, you know, and our, our players were, like I said, I think they were confident. I think that was um, what was impressive down the stretch. They, you know, they were confident in, in the plays they were going to make. They were um, really determined to figure out a way to get the win. And, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know where where completely that came from. Did it come from our our experience? I think think that has to be part of it. You know, uh, it's just part of our journey this year. Um, what I said early on, I wanted this team to be the best possible basketball team that we could be. And um, that's why we scheduled the way we did. We thought it would help us, um, you know, and I, I don't know that we'll be able to evaluate it till the season's over. And, yeah, glad we're glad we're still evaluating. We'll go back to the right side, front row. Kelly, what did you think when the whistle blew on Angel's drive to the basket? Well, I saw the I saw the call at the same time. So uh, obviously, my first thought was we were advancing, and I had to get my shooters in. That that was the that was my thought. Um, you know, we uh, I know she's really physical and she's really aggressive. Um, when she gets the ball, and um, obviously we got that call. Go back to the left side, front row. Hey, Coach, Hunter Cruz with the next. Can you speak a little bit to Rakia's mid-range shot creation and how can she can just get to her spots in this game, the tournament, and just the season in general? Well, Rakia's smooth, and, you know, she plays that mid-game 
as well as anyone. You know, she can she can extend you behind the three point line. She can post you up, but but boy, that mid range is her sweet spot. And you know, she can work there from inside out or outside in. And uh, I, I tell you, it's pretty. You know, it's really pretty when she's shooting those jumpers. Go back to the second row. You've lost in the semifinal round a couple of times now. What does it feel like for you personally to just kind of get this team over that hump as a head coach? Yeah, it's you know it's good to good to be back there. I think they told me it's since 2015, so we're we're excited to be back in the championship. And you know the fans were were great. I'm I'm so happy for them. Um, they're going to be here, and they might as well have a team to cheer for on Sunday. So. Um, really happy for them, obviously happy for our team and our staff, because uh, that's a lot of work. It is a lot of work to get to a championship game. It, it's, you know, I mean, I don't know how many hours of sleep we're getting. It ain't a whole lot right now. But, um, you know, I'm just, it, it, it's a big deal. It's the SEC. I mean, to be in the SEC championship game, you're one of the best teams in the country. Right here in the front. Um, Rakia is not only a good scorer, but such a consistent one. Can you speak to what her consistency adds to this team and just always being able to rely on her? Yeah, obviously that's, that's a big part of, of our success is her consistency. And we know what we're getting. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look a whole lot different from game to game. You know, you, you know you can get her some opportunities. She can, she can make some things happen when there's not an opportunity. Um, and obviously she did a good job on the boards today. Um, you know, just just proud of her. Um, it's a mindset. You know, she is, well, she is competitive, and she is um, she's a winner. Anything else for coach? Over on the right side, Kelly. I know you guys in projections have been hovering around that four or five line. Do you think you think this enhances your chances of opening the NCAA tournament at home? Yes. Yes, I do. I think I think we're good enough to host. Anything else? All right. Thank you, coach. All right. Thank you all.